Well, the CIC, the Construction Industry Council, was formed in 1988. So it's 25 years old this year. Uh, it was the last of a long line of attempts to bring the institutions and associations in the built environment together in one organisation. It is a single portal um, to the whole of the industry. Um, without CIC, it is a very fragmented and very large um, and diverse body of individual professional groups. Mm. So bringing all those together under one umbrella is, is vital. I think the three key things are one, helping uh, government in its construction strategy to ensure that we have a more efficient industry, mm. to reduce costs, to reduce the time of projects, to make the industry more efficient. Uh, uh, the, the second one is to make sure that we're uh, filling the skills requirements of the industry and as workload picks up uh, we are going to have some capacity issues and they are going to be vital in this uh, strategy going forward. And the third, and I, I hesitate in a sense to put it third because uh, I, I do believe it's uh, the overriding priority is to carry on doing the work to reduce carbon from the built environment, from the work that we do, from the facilities that we're producing. Uh, the role of chairman of CIC. Um, it's a bit like conducting an orchestra. Mm. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a, a very diverse group of people uh, making up the council. Um, every single profession in the industry is represented. But the, the role really is one of, of listening to the industry and representing it uh, and trying to put those views across um, in the right circles in the right uh, way. Uh, and then of course providing feedback mm. through council to the industry. I don't think there is a right time for any of the individual professions to lead CIC. I think the important thing is that there is a, uh, you know, it's a baton that's handed on yeah. from one professional discipline to another. I think there's, there's some items that we'll find in the industrial strategy, for example, that are part of the, the core skills of a quantity surveyor. And there's a focus coming on whole life cost, uh, carbon accounting, and quantity surveyors are good at doing sums, whether it's money or carbon, it doesn't really matter to us. Um, I think the initiative with BIM, BIM modelling, um, is going to be key. So there are, there are some core skills of a quantity surveyor that do relate to what the government is talking about, but I'd equally share Graham's view. It's about a diversity, um, of not, not having the same discipline each time. Along with all the other industry bodies, we were heavily involved in helping the Chief Construction Advisor develop the indus industrial strategy. He set up an advisory group on which our chairman served, although in an individual capacity, alongside other representatives of the professions and the wider industry. Uh, so we were heavily involved in developing the strategy and in consulting with our members to make sure they agreed with the priorities being recommended. The implementation of the industrial strategy has been handed over to a new uh, group called the Construction Leadership Council. Uh, our chairman, will be Tony of course in due course, will sit on the Construction Leadership Council and the CIC is a key body in the delivery group of the Leadership Council's work. So I serve on the delivery, uh, on the delivery group and CIC is taking responsibility uh, for leading some of the projects, for working with others on some of the projects and for being involved in those that we're not leading. So we've got a kind of project management role, we've got an operational role, but at the strategic end our chairman will be there at the Leadership Council making sure that the, the, the direction uh, is right. Peter Hansford, when he launched the industrial strategy, talked about changing the image of construction. And I think that's, that's a key role, actually, and one we've got to tackle. I think the British construction industry is one of the leading uh, construction industries in the world. There's no doubt about that. You don't have to see how in demand our architects, engineers, surveyors, project managers are to work overseas. And the uh, enormous amount of income that comes into this country from the positive balance of trade that we have in the professional services sector. Um, our standards are high, our health and safety, or the, although you know, uh, any fatality or, uh, or accident in the, injuries, in, in the industry is bad, our standards are generally very high. Uh, our design standards are you know, world class, we're leading the world on building information modelling, you know, we have the leading edge on a number of technologies, I think we have a lot to be proud of. And I do believe that we should stop wearing sometimes the hair shirt, sort of beating ourselves up in terms of the problems within the industry and actually focus on what a great industry it is. 
the British public's generally pretty good at uh, talking about the bad things that we, we do. We talk about the bad weather we have, never the good weather. Um, but actually, we're not particularly good at trumpeting success. And you know, I'm just looking back to last year, 2012 Olympics. That was a marvellous, fantastic mm -hmm. British construction success story. You know, find, find one other set of venues for Absolutely. games that are delivered ahead mm -hmm. of program uh, and within the budget mm. was eventually the right numbers that were set, were set for it. Um, so it is a fantastic uh, platform to build on and I think where we're going next, um, you know, again listening to Peter Hansford and his uh, desires and wishes uh, coming through, um, you know, his predecessor Paul Morell, um, interesting another quantity of there, Paul Morell, um, talked about uh, lower cost and lower carbon. I think we've got another C added to that now, which is capital. Mm -hmm. um, and I think where we're going with an industry is, is lower cost, lower carbon, more efficient, shorter program. Um, we're going to get better at what we are already doing pretty well.